Now that we fully understand restrictions on logarithms and basically how to find their domains, let's try some harder, one or two harder examples. So here's a function, um, f of x equals the natural logarithm of 4 minus x squared. And we know, in general, that this has to be a positive number for uh, the output to be nicely, to be a nice number, a real number. So what I'm going to recommend is first rewrite this function factor the argument as 2 minus x times 2 plus x and we're going to focus our attention on the argument. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out where the argument equals 0. So when you multiply two things to get 0, one of those two things has to be 0. In other words, 2 minus x has to be 0 or 2 plus x has to be 0. So solve each of these for x so we can start working on the domain. The first one I will add x to both sides and we will see that x equals 2 is the solution to that. And over here we'll subtract 2 from both sides and we'll see that x equals negative 2 is the solution there. So we know the two x values that make the argument equal 0. Let's analyze it a little further on the number line. So I'm going to cut my x number line at negative 2 and positive 2 now. And I want to evaluate what the argument is, 2 minus x times 2 plus x, at all the different regions here. Clearly, if x is negative 2 or 2, the argument is 0. That's what we found up here. So that means the three regions remaining will have to be positive or negative. Okay? So, if you pick a number smaller than negative 2 and plug it in for x here, 2 minus, uh, say, negative 10. Negative 10 smaller than negative 2. 2 minus negative 10 is a positive number. So you've got a positive number here. 2 plus negative 10 is a negative number. So you're multiplying a positive number times a negative number. That results in a negative number. So your argument is negative here. Now we know that you can't take the logarithm of a negative number. So that means no number from this region will be in our domain. We also know, by the way, that if your argument is 0, uh, that will not be in your domain either. So these values, negative 2 and positive 2, are not in the domain either. If I choose a number between negative 2 and positive 2 for x, say 0, 2 minus 0 is positive. 2 plus 0 is also positive, and a positive times a positive is a positive. Now we know that we can take the log of a positive number. So every number in this region, since you'll always get a positive, every number in this region is in the domain. Remember, these are x values, so this is literally our domain. Finally, the last region, numbers bigger than 2, say 10, 2 minus 10 is negative, 2 plus 10 is positive, so any x value here makes your argument negative. And we already said we cannot take the logarithm of a negative number. So our domain is the shaded region. And in interval notation, we write it as negative 2 to 2 with parentheses. So here's our domain.